wife pranked you and you paid way too much for an oil change. Now, well, we're going to do it ourselves this time by the book. Warranty's up on it anyways, 2019. I'm going to put some AMS oil in her. Just took it for a spin. And her idle. Let's change these fluids. And we got to check and see if we have a transfer problem. I didn't know nothing about this until recently, but let's see if we have that problem too. We'll measure how much fluid's missing or not missing. I right, know she's good and hot. Let's check the uh, check the trannies where we're at here. I should put a club on, huh? Hmm. Hold on, I can't tell. All right, I got a rag, let's see. It's pretty hot. Oh man, come on. Well, if I could do this without dropping it. I mean, there's... I don't think there's anything on there. Check this again. I don't think there's anything on there. I mean, I'm wondering if it did transfer. Hmm. The guy said when I picked up the AMS oil that I checked for the transfer. He gave me the new bar to put in. So, hmm, we may have a problem there. All right, let's check the oil. reading hmm look off and check it again I might have that transfer problem this is the 2019 who knows When the jiffy stand looks good, looks like it's right on the mark. So, oil problem, good. No, no oil problem. But the uh, tranny, let's check that one more time. That's not cool. Brand new bike. And transfer problems. Yeah, I don't see nothing. We're gonna measure how much comes out of the primary. All right, moving on. All right, we're gonna do this by the book. Even though I pretty much know, I just wanna show people what's going on. Oil dipstick, tranny dipstick. Where the measurements are, where it should be. If you're measuring it on a jiffy stand or if it's upright. Now, let's see, we got transmission plug, oil plug, do not touch. Put the oil filter on by hand, half to uh, three quarters turn. Let's see. I wanted to show you something else in this book. Um, what was that? So if you do the primary right here, dry fill, 34 ounces. Wet fill, 30 ounces. So basically if you're taking the whole cover off and you're cleaning it, putting it back on, that'd probably be dry fill. You put the 34 ounces in. Wet fill is what we're gonna do today. Pretty much pull the plug, drain it, fill it, 30 ounces. And if you still don't know if that's right, they give you a line here. So just below where it would come out when the bike's upright, not on the jiffy stand. When the bike's upright, 
the level should be right right below the casing opening I just want to show everyone that I mean they have torque specs and stuff in here but I have a built in torque so as in I've been doing this so long I know what's pretty close is you know so yeah I'm really curious here's the uh, the drain plug so we can see if uh, for the case if uh, how much is in there if it's over full or what I'm really curious if I have this problem and I have the uh, the new shaft to put in that they gave me when I picked up the AMS oil they said you probably might need this so check it measure it we'll see so this is the, uh, the new Greg Williams rod they put in for the issue we're having, I hope. Hope this fix it, put in some man's oil. So when I picked up yams oil, right? I said, yeah, you're, this is what you're gonna need. The Greg Williams push rod, whatever it is. I was like, alrighty then, never even heard of it, but okay, I will measure and check it out. So this cost me like 70 bucks. I'm like, lovely, something I didn't even know about. Problems, problems, problems. So I picked this up so you can uh, see how much, you know, measurement, how much comes out of here. I'm gonna break all these free first, just to make sure I don't have any issues before I get all the fluid out. I wanna make sure these all come out nicely. And then we'll uh, drain it. Uh, look what my daughter got me. She's she gonna go right there. There. To there. Alright, bolt right here. So far, every bolt on here, this is the second time the oil will be changed. Not in, nothing tight on here. And when I took it to the dealer to get it done, I spent all that money and I drove away. My exhaust was rattling. I had to go back, back to Harley so they could uh, fix it. <laughs> yeah. After I spent almost $400 and they couldn't even do that right, I was done with taking my bike anywhere. I'll do it myself. Curious to how much comes out of here. Hmm. A little bit on there, I guess. Does we have a transfer problem? I guess we'll find out. I hope this pan don't cut a hole in it. That will defeat the whole damn purpose. Bike's super dirty, but I figured I'll wash it after I get oil all over the damn place. It looks like a lot to me. Alright, I'll let that drain. I'll get back to you. Alright, it looks like it's done. See, I kind of marked it on here. 30 ounces should be about there, so let's pour it in there. Yeah, can we say transfer problem? Can I already, can I already tell. It's uh, I can find a flat ground here. Well, it's got 32, 34. 34 ounces it looks like. Or 36, wait. I think halfway is about 36 ounces. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, we got a problem here. Yeah, we do. I can't wait to see how much is in the tranny. All right, be back. So yeah, I think we're like six ounces over. 
No, I just wanted to say this bike has, uh, I went over on mileage, so it's over a thousand miles, two thousand, about two thousand miles. I did the oil change about five, six, seven hundred miles, so yeah, either way, it, we have a transfer problem, so here we go. I'm gonna hit the plug, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't horrible, it's probably normal. I did get some new rings. They gave me new rings when I got the uh, the oil. The new shaft. So I'll do that, I'll put the new the ring on, put this back in. And then we'll drain the tranny. I think I'll put a little dope on here. But I will torque it to my own spec. I mean, I have a torque wrench, I just, yeah. I don't need it. I got the new ring on. Uh, you know, I do suggest the change in that ring because this one it does get chewed up. I mean, the bike. I mean, the bike's brand new. Maybe two thousand miles. And yeah, it's pretty chewed up. So yeah, not a bad idea to do that. I mean, a dollar. They gave me all three rings for a dollar. I got the oil at the bike shop. All right. It's a uh, fourteen to twenty-one foot pounds. But yeah, it's about right there. Click, click. You need to, you need to hear it. Click, click. Or if you need to, if you have the other kind here, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, yeah. I put it at about 16. There you go. Beep, beep. Click, click. Dumb. Let's go in here and take a look. See, huh? What are we looking at here? All right. This one going, where my hand at? This one forward is the oil. And this one is the tranny. I didn't do, I didn't feel the primary yet because I'm going to do it when the bike's upright. I'm going to do these first. So let's take out the tranny. I'm curious to see how much is in there. I'm gonna have to go from the other side. Let's see if I can get in here. All right, I'm under here. I got the. I'm curious to see how tight this bolt is. Oh, it's barely. I mean, it's barely. It's amazing how weak, how weak they put these bolts back in. So if you're worried about like, oh my God, I got to torque it to the right spec. <laughs> I thought it was even five pounds or five, whatever. I catch it all. I want to know exactly how much fluid's in here. I want to know exactly. Come on. Alright, we'll get back to you. Alright, there it is. Is there a uh... 28 ounces in here. It don't look too bad. Okay, let's see. Can I do this? Hold on. And we're pouring. I cleaned the bucket out, just the uh, exact measurement. There's the uh, primary. Let's see, we're at about 20, 24, and we're missing, uh, I mean, this thing's at an angle, I mean, yeah, we're missing four ounces. I wonder where it's at. I wonder where four ounces, I wonder where the four ounces went. Hmm. I got the shaft, so that better work. Four ounces went from the tranny into the primary. Wow. You know, the plug really wasn't that dirty. Um, yeah, and this the seal was pretty, pretty messed up. So, make sure I put, change that seal. So, yeah. 
Put a little pipe dope on here and we'll torque her down. Yeah, it really wasn't bad. I mean, I barely have anything on the napkin. All right, moving on. All right, this time we're on this side of the bike. Got a little pipe dope on there, the new ring's on. 14 to 21 foot pounds. Well, yeah. Click, 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 click. Or for your digital guys, beep, 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 beep. All right. Now, you know what? I'm going to put 28 ounces in there. We'll fill that right away, and then we'll do the oil. So 20, 28 ounces. I don't know why they even make a different one. You know, you got transfer problems anyways. Check out this I got. Right? Which one do we need? Hmm? Sweet. Fill it up, 28 ounces. All right, we have about four ounces out, yeah? Ooh, nice and clean. That is some good looking tranny fluid, if you ask me. Check it. Check it when she's hot. Make sure she's right on. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough for now. I know we're all curious to see how tight the oil bolt is. I know I am. No nothing on this bike is tight. Yeah. A little snug. Not really. This bike is going to be so happy with the AMS oil. No more oil problems. I hope. Knock on wood. <laughs> Alright, come on. AMS oil and replace these seals. Pretty much a must. Dirty, all right. All right, let's see. Change the oil. We know it's pretty much right on. Now that I got it flowing down there, I can loosen this up. Get the new seal on here. You know what? I left this loose because I'm curious if it even reads. I mean, it's bike's getting cooler now, but still. If it even shows on this dipstick. Huh. Not really. I'll check it again hot. But yeah, it was hot when I pulled it in and checked it, so. Well, we know it was low. I don't know. Hopefully it's right when it's hot. All right, I'll tighten that down. All right, take the filter off now, oil filter. Real quick, 25 to 75 inch pounds, not foot pounds now, inch. So right about there, beep, 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 click, 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 click. That is about 30 inch pounds. There you go. All right, new filter, sweet little filter tool. There's some stuff in there. I know, they make a tool to catch the oil and all that good stuff. I don't really care. I'm gonna wash the bike when I'm done anyways. Get a little oil. I got the pan under there still and I got it. It's still draining. Hopefully this 
tool I got will work. Oh, crap. It don't seem like it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sure don't feel like it's going to work. Crap. Hmm. thing they'll put on tight is this right all right let me figure this out all right that was a nightmare that was on tighter than it should ever have been that it was insane I think from here on out I'm just gonna get the filters with the nut on the back this one doesn't have it but I'm gonna put this on not so tight because I am switching that out well even though I'm not gonna put on tight but man that was crazy I'm going to fill this up halfway and let's soak into the uh, filters a little bit. Make sure my fingers are clean. Lube the gasket. Yeah, you put this on like just a half a turn. I mean, it does not have to be tight and do not use a tool. Put this on by hand. Just snug. Not, that was ridiculous. Yeah, clean this up a little bit in there. It didn't make that big of a mess, but you know, the bike's gonna get washed anyways real soon here. Right after this, actually. Okay. Once that once that gasket hits, I mean, you just need. That's it, right? Right there. And that's good. All right, got the new seal on, a little pipe dope. And once again, 14, 21 foot pounds. Beep, 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 beep. Click, 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 click. She's good. All right, starting with the quart that you used to put half a quart in oil filter. We will put in exactly four and a half quarts. I will run it. Once it gets hot, I'll check it. See where we're at. Oh, that's some good AMS oil. Some good looking oil there. Little, uh, just to make sure nothing's coming back out, because that would be a waste of oil. All right, I'll put in four and a half quarts and we'll go to mess with that primary. All right, we are back to this. Putting in that new shaft. Hopefully this goes good. Hopefully this fixes the problem. A lot of things, all right. I'm gonna take that bolt off, take that cover off quick. All right, can we see it? already falling off but it's good Let's see what we got in here all right looks like we have to take the clip off of here to get this out get the new shaft in there I'm assuming this hasn't been fixed I mean I took it in at the 500 whatever mile they did the oil change I'm sure they didn't do nothing it's either this or they put a breather, a breather like right behind here. And yeah, the 2019 and later models, they put a breather back here. Not the earlier ones, I must have the earlier one. So instead of putting the breather, we're going to try and change that. All right, so the way this goes, this, this clip has to go inward. Inward to come out. If we can do this on the first try. Oh, jeez, if I can get my camera right. Oh. I almost need two hands here. Hold on. All right, I got the clip out. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the exact same way. We got this. See, it's got an ear on, oh, ear on the top. 
you're on the bottom. Put that back in the exact same way. And I wish my camera wasn't, there we go. And this is our major malfunction right here. There it is. Well, it looks like the newer one is a little thicker. I'm looking at these side by side. Not much, but it's thicker. It's got a different ends on this. I think the difference is, see how much thicker this lip is? That's the difference. All right, I'm gonna lube this up. Put her back in and we will man I hope this fixes the problem all right I just took some of the primary fluid liber libered it up pretty good here all right going back in you know I never would have knew knew anything about this if when I went to get the amps oil the guy told me about this he said check it all the bikes from 17 18 19 have this problem I'm like great he's like don't this should fix it, he said. Hopefully, huh? Hopefully. Okay, that press, okay. That pressed in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need two hands, get this clamp back in. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, it's tricky, you gotta, there's tension there, you gotta push in while you get the, clamp in there, the C-clamp. It's tricky, but just make sure it's in that groove. It looks pretty good. All right. All right, we can uh, fill her up. I think we're getting somewhere now. Oh, and I bought this new cover, this seal. I got, I got a new one. I got this for Christmas from my daughter. So I'm guessing it comes with a seal, so I didn't worry about this. I'm losing the 114, but I'm getting the skull. All right. Um, I need to get the bike upright to get that fluid in, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I'll be back. Well, the bike's not 100% upright. I mean, it's at a slight angle towards me. So we're just gonna fill it 28 ounces. So basically, it's nice because this is black. The oil level should be at the top of the black, not the top of here. But if the bike was perfectly straight and you put in the 30 ounces, it should come to right there, not there, right there. So if you measure it from the top of this screw to the top of this screw, that's where it should be. So I'm just gonna put it in until I can basically see it Looks like the bottom of that plate in here is the bottom of here too, so. I'll just put some in until it's there and it should be good. We'll see how many ounces is left over. Let's just do it that way and call it good. What we got here? Primary fluid. Yeah, you definitely don't put it in until it comes out. We'll be right back. Okay, so I got about, I don't know, a couple ounces in there. And it's basically right, it's about right here. I think if the bike went all the way down on a kickstand, it might be at the top of here. So definitely, you know, I got it almost upright. I got 30 ounces in. It looks pretty right, so I'll leave it there. Let's get the cover on. It's a good thing. I'm a master mechanic. Well, this would be a goddamn mess. Ooh. That's a new cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Would you just look at that? Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Damn. Damn. 
Sweet. Yeah, my daughter got me this. And did not come with a new seal, but this seal I, I took out here. The seal is still good, so I put it into here. Would you look at that, huh? That looks badass. Yeah. Sweet. I just don't know because look at this. It came with black bolts. Here are the bolts that are original. I mean the bike's black, but all the bolts in here are. I think I'm gonna go with the original bolt so it stands out more. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Alright, real quick. Tighten these bolts to 84 to 108 inch pounds. One, two, three, four, five. So like a backwards star pattern. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I got them all like just snug. It's all just, just so I feel like you can feel it lock. I'll just get this out of the way. That's why I took out. Just I feel it lock. I'm gonna go with all of them like that. So there, there. What's this one? I don't remember the pattern. Does it really, really matter? As long as you crisscross. So I'll start over. Just a little bit. A little bit. Now I'll just give it a little a little tweak. Oh yeah, perfect. You know, maybe I'll check these in a month, a couple weeks, maybe a week, maybe a day. I mean, this ain't much, just not much. Boom, good enough. Would you just, would you just look at it? Beautiful. Boom. Would you just look at it? Now that's sexy. And look what else. Look what else she got me. Oh yeah. That's going right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Would you look at that? Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. She's coming along. Beautiful, beautiful, AMS oil.